And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Quinn. That's right, we're going to be playing some Demacia Noxus together. We're going to be attacking a lot. We're going to have some different rally effects and, of course, some scouts because we want to attack a lot um, <clears throat> for Quinn because we need Quinn to see us attack four times to be able to level up. And then whenever it's leveled up, we get a free Valor every time that we attack with Quinn. Um, but then also Riven wants to see us attack a bunch because whenever we gain the attack token, we get to reforge. So each time that, like if you attack with a scout, you gain the attack token again. So you get to reforge again whenever you have um, the Riven in play. And then plus, you know, Riven has like these different blade fragments that can uh, make your attacking more profitable, whether it's the plus two, plus zero or the quick attack. You know, and then while we're working towards this Blade of the Exile. So yeah, it's definitely going to be about attacking. We got uh, three Cataclysms, two Golden Ages, you know, different ways to be able to get more attacks. If we Cataclysm on a unit that has Scout, then that means that we will attack with only a Scout, so we will gain the attack token again. And so this is perfect on our opponent's turn for something that just has Scout. Um, let's see, we got Genevieve Elmhart at the top end. A spicy Tiana Crown Guard in here to help us rally as well. Um, a Laurent Chevalier be able to help uh, create some more challenge uh, followers for us. That's kind of about it. So it looks like a spicy one here. It's going to be our first donation deck of the day. We got four more brand new donation decks to get to today. Let's go Riven Quinn. <clears throat> so these were all viewer submitted decks today. Uh, Riven Quinn, Ezreal Swain, Spooky Nasus, and LeBlanc Sejuani. Yeah, I enjoy playing Quinn decks as well. I hope, I hope we get to level up Quinn. Alright, so this kind of matchup, we certainly want a good amount of rally effects. Do I want to keep a second Riven? Not really. Because... This kind of deck usually plays, you know, like their Avalanche and their Sweeper and stuff like that that Join kills all of our units. But um, they don't really have blockers, Final so having selection. multiple attacks in a turn is really valuable against a deck that's not that doesn't really have blockers. These hands know metal and magic. Okay. Let's go, Riven. Born in battle and raised by war. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. All right, so not the best turn for us. Looks like we're just going to be passing. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Yeah, good turn for them. We Demacians are no easy fit. <clears throat> we haven't seen any of our rally effects yet. Eyes to me. Ah. All right, so I got plus two, plus zero, and quick attack. I should have done the quick attack. I should have just done. I should have just done sharp sight to try to kill this thing and. Yeah, I should have just done sharp sight. Because if I would have done sharp sight, then I could have killed Trundle also. Could have just killed both and. Um, I guess, no, I guess I wouldn't have killed, I would have only killed one, and then they would have killed my Valor, because, like, if I, if I attacked with the sharp side into, into Lissandra, I would have taken the two damage, and then the Vile Feast would have killed it, so actually we, we would not have killed Trundle. This is 
isn't great. But I got rid of Lissandra. And so that's really important, right? Because they need Lissandra for their combo. To make a watcher. In Avarosa's name. Carry your own gear. Alert the villains. No. Ugh, got two overwhelms. Seven mana, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we're gonna use the over, even though like the over one would make the um, blade of the exile. Okay, so level up ribbon still reforges each time. I wanted to check that. The trolls are going to war. They have five mana left. I'll defend these forests to the end. This could be greedy. I could have just attacked right here and leveled up Quinn. So that's two. Put him to one if I play this blade fragment. Or I could try to kill Trundle. I think I just try to kill Trundle. Two trundles down. Really wish I had a rally, right, and we could attack here on this turn. Certainly wish that was the case. All right, let's level up Riven. All right, so that's gonna. That hurts. <clears throat> okay, cool. So all these will stay alive. They, looks like they don't. Like they would all have like one health though. So but it looks like they don't have any kind of ice shard or anything like that. Awesome. Thresh Nasus. This may be the most popular deck right now, honestly. This I kind of noticed like that I've been playing against this deck a ton. I like our hands. I like Riven, Blinding Assault, Cataclysm. I don't, I don't actually I don't even know if Blinding Assault's really that good here. So if we have Riven Cataclysm. Alright, I'm gonna just start with Riven Cataclysm and kind of see what happens. Ugh. They're good. Alright, cool. We've only taken two damage so far. Heart and blade Not bad. Both Trying to get set up. Wow, their hand has bricked. It's a brick. House. There we go. That makes sense. 
Okay, how should we do this? I guess, I think I want to keep Riven alive. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright, hoping to get quick attack. Let's do plus zero. That's not quick attack. Overwhelm. That's not quick attack. Okay. Well, we got two blade fragments. Runeweaver will get us the third. Yeah, they're, they're hand wrecked. Alright, but we'll take the win, 2-0. Oh. That happens sometimes. Uh-oh, we got some dragons. They're big and spooky. Because the dragons. I think we'll keep blinding us all. We'll get the rest. Champions! I wish Blinding Assault could kill a Dragon Chow. But it can't. Not unless we get... I don't know. A plus two, plus zero or something. And Blade, both broken. We were forged in dragon fire. Wow. That is one of the worst blocks I've ever seen. I don't even know what the point... Like, three life? You just put down a three power life steal. <laughs> I could just gain that three life back. Uh, that was not a good block. So I kind of want the spell mana... If I don't play Grizzled Ranger, I can have spell mana. Mm, I don't know. I kind of want that spell mana. Because obviously I want to play Quinn next turn. Oh yeah, Mervin, you got the vaccine yesterday? Okay, your arm is just really sore from it? Huh. We got plus two, plus zero, overwhelm. Demacian needs heroes. No quick attack still. Get him, Badger Bear. Badger Bear gonna get him. Shining gifts from the sky. Yeah, I'm just going repost on whatever they challenge. It's like, if they didn't block with that Dragon Child before, this Dragon would have been a 5-6, and I wouldn't have been able to get that extra attack that I just had in. Okay. Uh. I've got to consider to strike out of their hand.
Yeah, if only we had the plus two, plus zero. Which I, I've already gotten, I've already used. I'm gonna play this Rune Weaver and try for it. To Guess so. Yay. Such a fast pass. Too bad. Another day guarding the walls. Gentlemen, ladies, the honor is yours. Screeching Dragon just kind of dominates. So I played the Chevalier out here so that I could have Concerted Strike and, you know, draw another or create another. Uh, Join the hunters, they said. Challenger. Wow, We're just passing. So we can assume they don't have spells in hand. Also assume a really soul comes down next turn because that's always the case. May not necessarily be the fairest of assumptions. The quiet of the woods, there's nothing like it. Ah, it seems to me their pride will cost them. Yeah, this is it's going to be tough when against these larger units. They've had good spells, right? Multiple single combats, concerted strike. Had some good spells so far. And so if Aurelian Soul is coming down here, that's going to be bad. And that is bad. Oh, I don't have the attack token because I didn't do just only scout. Right, so that means I need to... Do it like this. Right, okay, yeah, because then this lets, lets me kill a really insult. Right, I had a plan. That was my plan originally, and then I forgot what my plan was, and now I remembered. I even had a good plan. I do love an audience. I even had a plan. So you know they have two huge celestial cards. Well, I guess one, one we know is a seven plus mana celestial card. The other one we don't know. I guess that's lethal because even if I do this, it, you know, kills the two one, and so then they attack here. If I just play a blocker, that's lethal. Yeah. Uh, celestial cards. Gross. All right. Well, they had a very good hand. All right, Draven Ezreal. Our Chevalier dies to Mystic Shot for a 4 drop. That's not great. I don't want to keep a 5 and a 6 for my 2 cards to keep. Ugh, I hope that was mud. It's my time. I write. 
Fight the rules of power. Well, we got our ribbon curve. Finally, some action. I thought you'd never ask. I don't think it's worth Cataclysm Rune Weaver. I don't think that's worth it. Is that all you got? No way. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Yep. Valor! That is too bad. I guess I should just attack with the three one. Yeah, I should just attack with the three one. I don't really know why I didn't. I guess I was just sad of my birds dying. Yeah, and I was thinking of like what to do with this cataclysm. I was thinking I was gonna do Genevieve Cataclysm next turn, but yeah, I should just attack with the three one. Great four drop to hit. Looks like my opponent has this one. Um, I'm just saying with a bunch of three ones that are not good in this matchup. This can be a tough matchup. They had, they had good good cards. Yeah, good deck. Here we go. They have six cards over there. Twice as many as what I get what I do, and they have a better board and more mana and six cards. <laughs> so, so, I think we're winning this. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. I write the rules of power. Simpleton. It is good. Well, those are good trades for the three ones, but obviously they have a million cards still. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Save my spell mana. Sure. They're doing that to level up Ezreal. I'm so good, I surprised myself. This deck should not be playing Whispered Words. You should not be spending mana to draw two cards in this kind of deck. I, mean, I, th I think that this shows like what can happen if you just draw a whole lot of three ones against like like their deck's really good like their deck is built on on killing units which ours is like yeah like our our kind of deck can't really afford to play whispered words now in this specific matchup would you like whispered words yeah but it's 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 not a realistic card that we can really play and win a lot of other matchups right like if we play against any other like aggroish deck we can't we just can't afford to spend time using mana to draw cards. We need to uh, use all of our mana to affect the board with this kind of deck. I 
guess that does kill Ezreal, so then we only take four. That adjusted Tribeam and Probulator. Stronger together. Don't let them reinforce. Fall before Demacia. Man, they just get really cool cards. <laughs> Grizzled Ranger, Errol the Tracker, those are like our our deck. <laughs> cards for our deck. So they get with these tribeams. You chose poorly. Alright, two and two. Good game, opponent. It was only one battle. They got us. No, the same matchup again. That's too bad. All right, so we do not want a bunch of two ones and three ones. We saw like Static Shock kill two Quins, or not Quins, but you know Valors. That was quite rough. Um, so definitely like Riven, right? Like I want something with more health. Riven, good. So Riven, Sharp Sight, those are awesome. I definitely like the Whirling Death. Let's get rid of this Cataclysm. I like the Whirling Death of being able to try to take down uh, Draven. I think I'm just gonna pass and save spell mana. Man, that's such a good trade for us. Cool, get the attack token again, get another blade fragment. Oh, I guess we don't get the attack token with that, never mind. No blade fragment for us. That's okay. I thought you'd never ask. If I don't play Grizzled Ranger and they just pass the turn, it's kind of bad for me. Static Shock is a great card. No way. No turning back now. There is surrender and there is life. I will live. Don't love my options. I'm going with this one. Hope they can't kill Riven. Really hope they can't kill Riven. No. Ugh. One's too bad. Alright, so we'll just trade there. And I, I want spell mana for, you know, Sharp Sight, Whirling Death, Golden Ages, that kind of stuff, to go along with Jenny. Time for a true display of skill. Because if I play if I play Genevieve and then Sharp Sight, then I can't have Golden Ages. Do I think they have another stun card? Alright, so we won't be able to attack this turn anyway. 
It doesn't really matter if I sharp sight and block Ezreal. Ezreal's just attacking for one. So we'll just save the most amount of damage by going with the repost. One shot, all skill. Can't stop me. Okay. Eight mana. I know I'm not doing the scout attack because I, I want to hit with Riven before they can stun Riven. Because I can Golden Ages rally, get the scout attack again. Wow. Alright, so they got six cards, seven mana. Flock is so good. All right, well. Unfortunately, it wasn't the plus two plus zero. I'm cold. I'm hungry, and there's rocks in my boots. I'm sorry. Who are you? Because they have to have the four four block the eight one. To stay alive. If it was a plus two, plus zero, we would have just killed them. But yeah, then we can make that trade. You were just a little bit late there, plus two, plus zero. Third Ezreal. Watch and learn. I guess they get three Ezreals. At least if their plan was Static Shock, that won't kill Riven now. I mean, sorry. Basically playing this to save two life on Genevieve Elmhart to make it more difficult for them to kill Genevieve Elmhart on my attack than my second attack. No more hesitation. No way. Okay, so all three Ezreals are dead. But do they have... Do they have enough removal to keep them alive here? I write the rules of power. Looks like it. Hopefully no more removal. Awesome. That's why I didn't want to play the Blade of the Exile slow speed was because of Thermogenic Beam and um, Tribe Beam and Probulator, the slow speed removal. Okay, three and two. That's a good one. 
All right, not bad. A 3-2 record in Masters rank. Pretty good. We'll take that for our Riven Quinn deck. Um, people were talking before about maybe trying to fit in Whisper Words in this kind of deck, and I just don't think that you can. I think that, like, all the mana that you spend has to affect the board. I don't think that this kind of deck is a deck that can um, that has, like, the luxury of spending four mana and not affecting the board. I think you really need to curve out with this kind of deck. Um yeah, you really want to curve out, keep attacking, keep putting pressure on, stuff like that. Um, even though, like, you're when you play against a super removal heavy deck like an Ezreal deck, it would be really nice to have Whisper Words because that's the the t like the one kind of matchup that you can't afford that. But you can't really afford Whisper Words against other aggro decks. Um, and even even like the like Watcher deck, you can't really afford Whisper Words there either. You have to keep affecting the board, so it's. It's a card. It's the kind of card that would be good in in a small, um, a small set of matches. Your control decks that rely on tons of removal spells. So basically, like your Ezreal decks, but um, not something I think you can really afford. Um, with these games, Cataclysm was, eh, <laughs> it was okay. Um, there was there was like one time where I got like a quick attack Riven to kill a Draven. Um, I think that last game, like that was a really nice Cataclysm. But for the most part. It was a card that that looked like it was uh, much worse than uh, good old Relentless Pursuit, wherever Relentless Pursuit is, because Relentless Pursuit just allows you to attack with everything again, and, and it's just kind of easier to level up. Um, it's easier to level up Quinn. You you get your blade with the Relentless Pursuit, where you don't necessarily get the blade with the Cataclysm. Like the Cataclysm is basically single combat, right? Like that's like the way to think about it is that it's it's more single combat ish than rally ish, and I think this deck maybe just wants the rally. So I think I wouldn't just play three Cataclysms though. I think I'd maybe go like two and one, because we did see like at times the Cataclysm can be awesome, and it can be awesome with paired with like the quick attack blades, like we saw. But it didn't. But there was there was just a lot of times where I, I just wanted rally instead. Um, so I would I would kind of split that up a little bit. But besides that, everything else was pretty good. Pretty good. And yeah, we had a good record there, three and two. Yes, you can use Cataclysm on a stunned unit. Yep. Uh, yep, you sure can. All right, so that's it here for Riven Quinn. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Riven Quinn, or if you got other deck ideas for uh, future decks. Um, or anything else, you know, leave those comments. I would appreciate it. All right, but that's all I got here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.